Hi guys and welcome back to Theory's Clinic Management System in C-Sharp. So what we're going to do in this video is implementing the login page, okay, or the login form. So this form is going to be used by the doctors, secretaries, and the admin in order to log into their panel. So what we're going to want to do is create three forms that are going to represent the three panels of the doctor, the secretary, and the admin, and then create the login form and re redirect the user to any of the three of those forms according to his account type. So let's create quickly the three forms. So I'm going to right click on the project, click on add, and then choose Windows 4. I'm going to name the first admin panel. And we're going to create the other forms. So the second form is the doctor panel. And then we're going to create the secretary panel. Okay, let's go back to form one. So form one will be the login form. And we're going to add two labels, two text boxes, and a button. Okay, so we need to edit the property of the text box for the password and we're gonna wanna go to the password drawer and just put an asterisk to hide the password when the user enters the password, okay? Okay, so now we're done with our form. Let's now double click on the login button. So in order to use um, the SQL connections, you have to be using the library using system the data the SQL client. Okay, so the first step that we're going to want to do is fetch the connection string. So we're going to create a string that is called connection string that is equal to, remember that we store the connection string in the resources of our project. So we're going to type the, the namespace of our project, which in my case is clinic underscore management underscore system. So we're going to choose that and you click dot properties dot resources dot connection string okay so this is the first step then we want to create our sql connection object so we're going to type sql connection we're going to name it con is equal to new sql connection and then provide the connection string And then we're going to create the SQL um, command. So SQL command, we're going to name it command, is equal to con.create command. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is basically type our query. So command.command text is equal to, and our query is going to be select user underscore id from and then provide the table name since user is a keyword in sql so to use our table user we're going to be typing user in square brackets just like that okay so select user underscore id from user where user underscore username is equal to at user name and at username is a parameter that we're gonna specify uh, after this line and 
user underscore password is equal to at password. We are going to add our parameters to command dot parameters dot add with value and then provide the name of our parameter. So add user name and the values in text box one the text. And we're going to do the same for the password. So command the parameters to add with value add password and text box to the text. Okay, so now we're done with our um, query and our parameters. So we're going to open our connection. So con.open. And then we're going to create a variable. So var result is equal to command.execute scalar. So what execute scalar does is actually return the, the value of the first column on the first row. So this is what execute scalar does. So we are calling this function because we are only retrieving uh, one attribute uh, in our query. Okay. So basically, if the user, I mean, if this record exists, then there is a valid username with that password. Else, if this returns null, then uh, the user is not authenticated. Okay. If result not equal null, then we're good. Authenticated. And else, authentication error. So if we have an authentication error, we're going to display message box saying message box to show authentication failed. Okay. And of course, um, we're going to close our connection after executing our query. So con.close. Okay. And if we are authenticated, then we're going to see which form we are going to open actually. So this is going to be based on whether this is an admin, a doctor or a secretary. So if the user is an admin, then his username is going to be admin. All right. So let's check the text box one, which contains the usernames text. If text box one, the text is equal, equal to admin. If this is the case, then this is the admin. Admin panel should be displayed. Okay. Else, then we're gonna wanna know whether this is a doctor or a secretary, right? So in order to know that, we are going to make another query, right? So we're gonna open our connection, so con.open, and we're going to use the same command command dot command text is equal to select and we want to get the uh, account type and the account ID because we're going to use the we're going to pass the account ID to the doctors and the secretaries panels right and we're going to use the account type to check whether it's a doctor or a secretary so what we're going to want to do is select the account underscore ID and the account underscore type from account where account underscore user underscore ID is equal to at user underscore ID. So basically, we're going to get the record where there is a match between the account 
uh, underscore user underscore ID and the user ID that we fetched from our last query. So we're going to add our parameter user underscore ID. So command dot parameters dot add with value at user underscore ID and then result dot to string. Now we're going to run our query uh, and this is going to fetch a whole row. So what we're going to want to do is receive this uh, the result of the query in an SQL data reader object. So SQL data reader, I'm going to name it reader, is equal to command.execute reader. And then we're going to check if reader.read, if there's something that we could read, if there's um, some rows fetched. Then what we're going to want to do is read the account ID and the account type. So we're going to create an int. I'm going to call it account underscore ID. And it's actually going to be equal to reader.getInt32 of 0 because this is the first column. And the, we're going to create another int account underscore type and it's going to be equal to reader dot get n32 of one and this is the second column of our query so we're gonna check our uh our account type if account underscore type equals equals zero then this is a secretary so what we're gonna want to do is open the secretary panel right else if account underscore type is equal equal to one so we're going to open the doctor panel okay and remember after executing the query we have to close our connection so con dot close Okay, so far so good. Now what we're gonna wanna do is display our forms, okay? So for the admin panel, what we'll be doing is actually hiding this form. So hide and create a new object of the admin panel. So admin panel, I'm gonna name it admin panel with small a. Let's go to new admin panel. And then admin panel dot show dialog. And then after closing this admin panel, we want to show again the login form. Okay. And we're going to copy this because we're going to do pretty much the same thing for the secretary and the doctors. So we're going to do this for the secretary and the doctors. So this is the secretary panel. We just name this was small s okay and this is the doctor panel okay but for the secretary and the doctor panels we have also to pass the account underscore id so we're going to do this by going to the admin the doctor panel and we want to right click on the form go to view code and in the constructor of the form right here we are going to make it take a parameter which is going to be int account or let's just call it int id okay and we're going to make an int i'm going to call it int account underscore id and then we're going to type account underscore id is equal to id okay we're going to do the same for the secretary panel now let's go back to our form form one and then 
we're going to see that our uh, class of secretary panel and doctor panel now takes a parameter, which is an integer, which is the account type. So we're going to, the account ID. So we're going to pass the account underscore ID to both of them. Okay, so now we should be good to go. Let's test it out quickly. So we're going to enter the admin and admin 123. Here we go. This is the admin panel. Let's change the password of the admin to anything else. Authentication failed. Let's try with the doctor and then the password 123. Okay, so let's just close the connection. After reading the uh, the values, because this is the error that we are having now. Let's test it again. Doctor one two three. Here we go. This is the doctor panel, and the the secretary secretary, and one two three. This is the secretary panel. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.